What's going on? It's time to talk about another slasher film, one of those indie, low-budget ones. Yay. Uh, it's released, uh, it's called Sheltered. It's um, what I consider a slasher thriller because you see the killer, sort of like Silence of the Lambs, where I sometimes also review films and I refer to them as horror slasher films, which are more like Halloween, where you don't actually know who the killer is underneath the mask or something. And uh, yeah, that's more horror than thriller, so... Yeah, this one falls into the thriller category. So, yeah, Shelter was released by Sage Bell Films. It was pre uh, released sometime in 2006. Uh, it was produced by Me um, Meling Chu. Uh, written by Matthew Murray and co-written and directed by Josh Stoddard. He's also done The Shanna Chronicles Warrior and Into the Badlands for... So he has a couple films under his credit, but yeah. Sheltered is the story of a group of friends uh, on a road trip and a major storm, sort of like a hurricane, is coming through. And they stop off at a bar, meet this nice bartender and his friend there, and uh, yeah, they offer for them to stay at their place, the big mansion down the street. So they take them up on that and decide to stay there till the... Uh, storm passes through and uh, while they're staying there and drinking and having a good time they slowly start realizing one of them's a serial killer and has bad intentions for them and they might not be safe while there. So Sheltered is an entertaining film to say the least. There's some good character writ well written characters. There's some not so good annoying cliche characters but it is still a fun time. There are some interesting little twists mixed in the story for, to make it not as cliche. But yeah, once the killing starts, it's a pretty slow burn till killings actually start and they start realizing what's actually going on. And uh, from the get-go, you already know who the killer is. And uh, but for the most, it's fun. It's fun watching these characters not realize it till they're in dire circumstances and stuff which is a little bit cliche but it's still fun the kills and the gore and everything are all good in this um it has a little bit higher production value than some of the other ones i've been talking about recently of the slasher films so that's always a plus um and uh yeah there's some pretty good acting chops from some of them in it and uh yeah, so that's the positives. The negatives, it's your typical slasher film. Uh, yeah, there's nothing new here. It's basically, um, you kind of tell, you can kind of tell for the majority of them who's going to die when and that. And uh, not, they're trying to inject some humor, but most of the time it falls flat. It's kind of just makes the scenes awkward and weird. And uh, a lot of it's just them sitting around. I kind of wanted to see a little bit more of the mansion or a little bit of more dynamics to the characters and stuff but they kind of played it safe through it and uh some of the killing scenes went on for way too long it was like a so almost like torture scene but it's more of a torture scene to the viewer than to the actual victim and uh yeah so some scenes kind of played a little too long and that but it was amusing once the confrontation once they slowly start realizing that someone's a serial killer once all that comes into play it gets a little more amusing and the last half of the film was pretty entertaining so yeah so sheltered is an actually unique film i wasn't expecting it to go the way it did and i actually liked it a little bit more than i thought i was going to so with that i'm going to give sheltered a three out of five because it was just amusing. <laughs> uh, it's nothing too crazy or anything like that. And it's actually a good um, thought-provoking type of story. So if you're into that type of stuff, you might find this one interesting. But yeah, it's definitely not going to be for everyone though. So yeah, three out of five from me. There's a trailer link down below like always. Also, my Instagram is always linked down below. I always post clips of films I'm going to be in the future. All my stories make sure you follow Follow me there to stay in the loop. I usually hide the film title and hashtag and the subject of the film and the hashtag in the video clip. So, yeah. Uh, like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you've seen it. This is one of those type of films that you find in all those, like, 10 horror film pack, DVD packs that 
you used to get at Walmart for like five bucks and stuff. So that's where I found it in one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, so comment your opinions on the film down below if you've seen it. Let me know what you thought of it. Also, if you have any films, whether it's slasher films or whatever films, I'll watch anything that you want to hear my opinions on in the future. Comment those down below. I'll try my to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And make sure you like and share this video. And make sure you subscribe because I got quite a few slashers and some big ones coming up. So, yeah. But for now, careful of who you spend the night with after meeting them at the bar. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So, cheers.